Monte Carlo is preparing for a princely wedding. And this year again, as a curtain raiser to the Formula One Grand Prix on the Sunday morning, the Principality hosted drivers of the Formula Renault 3.5 Series. The leading category of the World Series by Renault took advantage of the prestigious setting of Monaco to officially announce for 2012 the arrival of a brand new single-seater, straight out of the Renault Sport Technologies research office. It's a car that will be more powerful, 50 more horsepower, and that's important, 530 horsepower therefore, and at the same time lighter. Above all, with quite revolutionary aerodynamics, rear wing that will be adjustable. The driver will be able to adjust it to change between corners and straight, a little like they do at the moment in Formula One. So it's a step forward. We think it'll mean a gain of one or two seconds per lap, thus approaching the performance of Formula One. We think the drivers will appreciate that. They'll be in an even closer apprenticeship for Formula One, even one step closer. The testing starts in the month of June, from the month of June to September and through August, although a little before the end of testing, the 21st of August, we'll see the first official laps live during the World Series in Silverstone. Lors des World Series à Silverstone. So, it's a date during the UK round for the first appearance of the new Open Wheeler. For the one and only race of the weekend in Monaco, qualifying saw Daniel Ricciardo obtaining his second consecutive pole position at the foot of the rod. The New Zealander misses his start and is grilled in the first few meters by the Canadian. He takes the third place ahead of Albert Costa, Alexander Rossi and Kevin Corius. The three leaders, Ricciardo, Wickens and Hartley, little by little dig comfortable gaps while Alexander Rossi loses all chances in this tangle with Oliver Webb in trouble on the track. Rossi was running fifth. Another spectacular phase. This tangle between Sergio Canamassis and Cesar Ramos in the descent towards the Fairmont Hotel. But thanks to the solid nature of the cars, both drivers escape unscathed. Second victory in the Principality for Daniel Ricciardo, who's the first to sign two consecutive wins in the streets of Monaco in Formula Renault 3.5. I think this, this week was, was awesome. We were quickest in every session and, and I think uh, I heard I got the fastest lap of the race. so. It can't get, can't get much better than that. It's been very kind to me. Ricardo, Wickens and Hartley on the podium with Kevin Corius the best rookie. That's how the final photo looked for this weekend. An unfortunate weekend for the championship leader, Jean-Éric Vergne, who is now under threat from his teammate Robert Wickens. Behind them, there's a regrouping in which Daniel Ricciardo slips into sixth place. The next round of racing in the Formula Renault 3.5 series will take place in the framework of the World Series on the 18th and 19th of June. On the Nobel Ring in Germany.